Hey, Toon Fanatics, and welcome to Toon Corner. And today we'll be talking about some Toontastic facts about a voice actor named Mel Blank. Let's get started. Mel Blank began his voice acting career by performing on radio. He has performed in a variety of radio shows from the 1920s all the way to the 1950s. He has performed on radio with people like Abbott and Costello, for example, and has performed in different radio shows like the Jack Benny program, for example. Whenever Jack Benny is performing with Mel, there has been different occasions where Jack is trying real hard not to break character because of Mel. And you can easily see that if you watch the Jack Benny program on TV. In the Jack Benny program, Mel has performed a variety of characters. He even did the sound effects for Jack Benny's car, the Maxwell. Originally, the Maxwell already had sound that was pre-recorded, but there were some technical difficulties, so Mel knew something was wrong, so he actually went up to a microphone and improvised the sound of the Maxwell like this. It took Mel a couple of years to finally get the job at Warner Brothers as the voice actor that we all know and love today. A cartoon editor named Trey Brown actually gave Mel the chance to show off his voices. So Mel performed his voices in front of Treg, and then he performed his voices in front of different directors, and then he took on some small voice roles, and that's basically how Mel's cartoon career kicked off. In the Disney animated film Pinocchio, originally Gideon was going to have some dialogue. So Mel recorded a voice for Gideon, and then Disney was like, nah, let's make Gideon mute. So the only voice work you get to hear from Mel that's in the film is uh, Gideon's hiccups, which can easily be heard in the scene where uh, Honest John is working out a deal with the coachman to uh, send Pinocchio to uh, Pleasure Island. At the Walter Lance studio, Mel has created the voice and iconic laugh for Woody Woodpecker. He has performed the voice of Woody in a small handful of cartoons before he signed a contract deal with Leon Schlesinger. In 1961, Mel was unfortunately involved in a near-fatal car accident that sent Mel into a coma for a couple of weeks and has placed him in a full body cast. Um, doctors were trying real hard to get Mel out of his coma, but then a doctor actually got an idea, and so he basically went up to Mel and simply asked, How are you feeling today, Bugs Bunny? And then Mel actually replied and said, Eh, doing fine, Yak. And then eventually the doctor asked for Tweety and Porky Pig, so basically the doctor has used the Looney Tunes to get Mel out of his coma. <laughs> From the 1960s all the way till his death in 1989, Mel was still doing voices for different Looney Tunes stuff, and, and he's also has done uh, voice work for Hannah Barbera by doing the voice of Barney Rubble, Mr. Spacely, Secret Squirrel, and Captain Caveman, for example. Uh, he has, uh, he would visit children's hospitals and he would give lectures at places like Missouri University, for example. He would appear in different commercials and he has actually appeared in Late Nights with David Letterman. And the question of the day is, 
Which Toontastic fact about Mel Blanc were you surprised about? Just let me know in the comments section down below. Feel free to leave any requests. And I'll see you next time in Toon Corner.